Hello YouTube and hello Facebookers. Thanks for coming to D-Trampins. I know it's been a little while since my last upload. I think it's been about a month now since that happened. Uh, a little update before I get into the topic today. Uh, I don't have Wi-Fi at the moment at my house. And uh, it is impossible to upload a video to YouTube on your fucking regular phone charges because like... It probably takes me like 12 hours, and if one little thing happens to it, the phone dies or something, that it fucking goes back to zero. I've tried it twice, and it just fucking blows, trust me. Uh, also, some notices changes. Shave the beard. I had a friend that moved to Washington, and her last fucking wish was me to shave the fucking beard off. It was getting scraggly, if that's even a word. But anywho... Let me go ahead and get to my topic. Today's topic is going to be my MMA discussion. Uh, my perspective on it, what I see from it, and what I see from the new crowd and new fans that are actually getting into it now, which is a good thing. Well, first of all, I've been watching MMA for a long while now. I think I probably got into it around 8th grade, 2002, 2003, around that area, a little before that. But I did watch the first UFC 1 when uh, it was a big thing on TV where it's going to be no hold bars and they uh, advertise it as like a fucking cock fight in the cage there's no rules you can fucking kill your opponent and that wasn't good marketing for the day for it to get mainstream like it is now but like it got my attention because I've been a wrestling fan when I was a kid I love combat sports two people enter a ring one uh, enters victorious Love that. I uh, love participating in it. Yes, I have done MMA in the past. My amateur record is like 5-1. and one. Got my ass kicked with a fucking arm bar. I couldn't get out. I broke my fucking arm. But anywho, uh, I respect the new fans that get into it. But in my opinion, I like watching it either by myself. So I can enjoy it myself. I don't hear everyone else's fucking reaction. I know that's a part of the buzz when you watch it and you see everyone else's reaction. But I like sitting in it and watching the fucking whatever event, UFC, fucking when Strike Force was around, WEC, King of the Cage, all the other organizations that's been out for a while. I respect them, but uh, I just don't like them watching the public because uh, here's what I get from it when people do it. Uh, they want to see a fucking crazy fight every fucking single time, and they only want to see the, the champions or the, the most popular people. People don't understand... Being a professional fighter is a f fucking privilege, and not only a privilege, but it takes time and dedication what they do. It's not just any joke and just walk in the ring and fucking get in there and start fighting. With the rules and the fucking how far it progressed, in my opinion, no badass who they, they can kick anyone's ass and step in the ring and fight a pro fighter, they're going to go down. No fucking, there's no discussion over that. Uh, maybe when it first started out, you just fucking beat your fucking badass street fighter coming in doing some moves but it is so technical and it's so fucking amazing what these fucking combatants can do they're really truly athletes they train not only in one fucking division of fighting they, they mix it all together that's why it's called mixed martial arts boxing wrestling judo uh jujitsu uh kimbo fucking um kickboxing all those combined so not only one aspect can fucking dominate anymore because people are mixing it up to the level well it's going to be an interesting fight if you're standing up and you don't know what's going to happen any fighter can lose on any given dive and fucking adapt to it watch a usc event on fx and people were down talking it like fucking i was like are you serious you just, it, it's about to come on you're already talking about it because it's not a george st pierre fight it's not an anderson silva fight it's not a fucking well-known car that people don't know about but there is some fucking athletes on there and fucking fighters that fucking got me i became a fan because of it don't judge a fight and i'm just fucking guessing what i remember from the interview with dan white did and like these fighters are not only fucking national, they're fucking around the world. They sign fighters from like Russia, there's Brazil, that's well known, United States, Canada, France, that's all over the world. So it's different training, and I love how seeing the fucking, um, the tributes match up against each other. Because, uh, someone could be a fucking headhunter knockout fucking artist, but they're gonna go against a good wrestler, and they're. Their ability to fight on the feet is now taken away. Their advantage is now that they're a disadvantage. 
because they want to stand up. But if you have someone who's fucking who knows how to grapple and keep you on the ground and fucking dominate and control what they want to do on the on the floor, you can't do that anymore. Your your fucking game has to fucking advance to the next level. You're not gonna fucking survive. That's the rules of evolution. You either survive, you either adapt, or you hide. And you, when you hide, it's gonna be exposed. Your the hole in your game is gonna be exposed. Uh, I love seeing the evolution of the MMA. I can't only imagine 10 years on the road from now what it's going to be like. Like, I'd rather right now, I'd rather watch a USC or any MMA event over any other sports combined event. I'd rather watch a badass USC card in the Super Bowl. Yes, I said it. None of my friends agree with me that USC is going to be bigger than the NFL one day. It's just a fan base is fucking ridiculous and it's take it from now, 2013, where it was only 10 years ago, 2003, there wasn't that many fighters well known, and it wasn't that big, it is a fucking, it's gigantic how much it grew, I'm fucking very impressed, and I'm glad it's getting the recognition that it deserves, uh, what else gonna talk about this MMA events, uh, fuck it, I like how the rules are set up now, if you see some old school fighters, they don't give a fuck, I like what Chel Sonnen said, uh, I, I fight any kind of fight, that's who I am, I'm a fighter, it, it, no rules, they don't care, he's not saying going back to where it was, was fucking like, grabbing your shit and fucking, fucking you up, kneeing you on the ground, I like the rules, and, um, I'm not into, I'm, I'm not, no one's a fan of the judge, sometimes I want to sit down and see how they judge a fight, because there's been like five or six fights this year where I'm just like, how the fuck did that happen? Did that uh, you can even hear Dana White talking about like how he disagrees with some judges, and fucking how don't leave it in the judge's hand like they said. Don't leave it in their hand. I can't only but again with the evolution of it. I want to see fighters five years down the road because uh, what the, the caliber of what the fighters are now are only gonna get better. Like right now, on the top of the lightweight heavyweight division, John Bone Jones. Can you imagine five years from now? I know he's young, but. Fighters are only going to get better and better in years. And boxing is a dying sport. To me, I'm a big boxing fan. I will, but can you name more than five fighters in any weight division that is fucking that you want to see fight? Besides like Pacquiao, De La Hoyle, De La Hoyle, uh, Williams, uh, Jones. There's not many fighters. I can name over 100 UFC fighters off the top of my head right now, which I won't because it'd be the fucking rest of the video. But fuck, man. Like, I can the reason I got into boxing, like everyone else did, was Tyson. After that generation died, boxing's been going downhill. Yeah, the fucking boxing's been around since fucking forever. And the prize fights are fucking ridiculous. I think, like, De La Hoya, last fight, walking in the ring, got a minimum of $40 million, just fucking entering the ring and making weight. But, like, I, I agree with some people that USC fighters should get paid more, but they don't disclose all their fucking makings in their fucking fightings. Like, yeah, they're showing you the base pay. It's designed to get in the ring. But you got to think, they got sponsorships. They got win bonuses. They have uh, other bonuses they can get. And it's all it's all on performance and how they perform. So when a fighter wants to get in the ring, he's going to have to fucking do his best. That's his fucking goal is do his best in the ring. Uh, lately, I've been watching some UFC and fucking MMA with some girls and, like, they get into it. They really do. I highly agree that women do belong in MMA, and I'm glad UFC and Dana White finally changed his mind. So I know for years that Dana White never fucking he says never gonna happen. But look what one Ron and Rousey, one fucking female fighter, changed his mind. I hope the evolution of female fighter keep going and going because they're very interesting to fucking watch. Yeah, you hear all these fucking pigmented antagonistic guys saying they should fight in bikinis they f should fight in oil I just watched a few videos on, on YouTube that they just uploaded people are, you, if you read the comments are fucking ridiculous yeah they may not have the advantage of the strength but they have more a lot of advantages also being a female fighter they're not known so they're not going to be fucking expected to do something unless you're like Ron and Rousey they're fucking flexible they're work ethics and have you seen tell me this <laughs> Do you like watching girls fight street fights? It is fucking awesome. I'm sorry. I can watch girl fights, street fights on YouTube all day long. Yeah, they're not pulling the hair like you, but they're fucking athletically trained and professionally trained to fight. And 
their pain endurance, I just kind of have to say, is higher than guys. I can't wait to see how it is in five years from now. Well, this is my this little rant about MMA. Uh, I'm asking a little more detail, sorry. Like, I've... First, I was in wrestling. That's what got me into MMA. I had some friends that were... Uh, their family's been doing it, mixed martial arts for a long time, jujitsu. And, like, I was a very good wrestler when I was a, in, a young lad. And, like, they were showing me some moves that were fucking awesome. And he would show me a move, and I wanted to do it over and over. I loved getting my ass kicked and learning something new all the time because it was just like, oh, look, wrestling only offers this. Yeah, there's a lot of vengeance you can learn from wrestling, how to grapple, how to hold your opponent down, how to maneuver, how to fucking reversal. But adding this, I was like, damn. Then I got into boxing, so, like, I got dangerous on my feet. I thought I could only wrestle and fucking grapple. When I started learning, I had strength in both my fucking hands and knockout power. I was like, dude, so if I'm on the ground, because if you're in a street fight, you're, you're going to get on the ground, you're going to have to defend yourself. I was like, uh, for a while, my advantage was on the ground. I can wrestle you to meet you any time how I want. Now, when I started getting dangerous with my hands, I can control the fight. If I'm not liking what the fight is, I'm like fucking when I'm standing, that you might be a better start than me, or like uh, I'm not doing what I'm wanting to do. I'm going to fucking um, take you to the ground and fucking hurt you on the ground throw some elbows, throw some submission, break some bones, do whatever I want. I can only imagine if fucking if I learn all these other fucking arts of fighting and how my game can only improve. And like like I said, it's a fucking addicting. I can see why these athletes want to get paid year round and fucking train. It is when when you really have that passion to fight, you're either born with it or not born with it. Yeah, there's a lot of fans that think they can fucking do this shit. No, no they can't. Just because you watch it and watch YouTube videos on it, you're not going to learn the full aspect and full fucking knowledge on how to do something. Uh, I think it was last season of The Ultimate Fighter where he's like, yeah, I sit home, I don't have a trainer, I'll, I'll do YouTube videos. If you're going to have no one to spar with on a fucking higher caliber level than you training you, you're not going to get better. You want someone there who can beat your ass and teach you the, the right ways to do it. And my advice, start at a young age because your mind is like a sponge. The more older you get, the more or less uh, acceptable you are to things. Like, uh, like when me and my brother did it for a while... Uh, I was learning more faster and was willing to be more open with things. And he thought he had this way down the way he wanted to do it. So it was hard for him to train and for him to understand. And I see all this evolution of young kids fucking fighting these days. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> it is fucking ridiculous. I want to see them grow up and fucking be a fighter. Because they've been doing it since three. Uh, you hear, like all these fighters these days, they, they may do some like rush, uh, college wrestling. There's nowhere else to go. Uh, with your wrestling, you can do Olympics, which, by the way, support Olympic wrestling. That is a sport. If they're going to have a fucking ping pong and fucking water polo, why not wrestling? Wrestling's been there since the beginning. It's a fucking athletic sport. I don't support your fucking wrestling. <laughs> uh, I got a, me a message. Anywho, uh, this is my little rant on MMA. I'm going to close it down. I'll probably do a part two, but anywho. Thanks for watching The Tramphams. Hope you like my little MMA discussion. If you have any questions, comments, let me know. Sorry, the bear's not here. I can't play with it. I'm fucking doing it. Night.